let's get this show on the road. This is the end, man. Mike's working right, it sounds like it. Right, uh, let's turn on this now. Alright, let's get a show on the road. Probably isn't gonna, you know, <clears throat> go too well. Considering I'm all the way over on the other side because my microphone's stuck over here. Great job. But yeah, I'm trying. I don't know what I'm doing with this shitty YouTube channel anymore. But we're doing this. <laughs> we're doing the Hungerford Football Manager. Why I choose Hungerford, I had no, no, no idea. But yeah, we're in. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy the stream. This is our uh, lineup then. In goal, we've got George Leg on loan from Reading. Good for this level. Oh, I don't know really. He, he looks decent. He probably is pretty decent as well. So yeah. So yeah, he looks pretty decent. Oh god, what's happened there? That hasn't gone too well, has it? Oh dear. Well, that hasn't gone too well. It just oh god. Oh wait, we're on. Wait a minute. Let me just try this again. Wait. Sorry about this. Right, okay, we're back in now. Right, okay, we're in now. So this is uh, George Leg. Look, he looks decent. So yeah, I've. That I got that in. Oh, um, second backup goalkeeper, thirty-year-old Paul Sturdley, who you know, just there to do the job. Really, I mean, he uses a backup goalkeeper. He's been at Hunger for a long time. That hasn't really, hasn't really done much. So then, right. So for the rest of the squad, we've got Ian Herring, thirty-two years old. I'm kind of looking to get him out. Look, he's listed. He's played a couple of games this season. No, he hasn't. But if I was going to play him anywhere, it would be centre mid. Because I don't think I'll be able to play him right back. He's just not needed here, so he'll be gone soon. Then we have Matt Day, a 30-year-old. He can play all across the back line, which is good. He's 30 years old, though, and I'm not sure about him. He's there. Let's just say that. Our starting left back is Thomas Cruz. Actually looks half decent. You know, he was isn't too bad. Played seven appearances. He's starting for us. Um, he's he's a leading player for, for most Panorama um, South sides, which is good. So yeah, um, he's good. So we're starting in there. Then we've got John Boardman, who, again, is someone we're looking to. He's played a long time for Hungerford. From 2010 to 2017, that's a long time. But he's 35, and we're just not using him. He's just not good enough. So, yeah, he'll be going out soon as well. Um, Adam Watts. Yeah, Adam Watts is our backup centre-back. He's played a couple of games. He's not too bad, actually, from Eastbourne Borough. Um, decent player for Panorama National Sides. All you're really looking for in a backup, 
really. And then we've got this guy, um, another centre back, another backup centre back, which is Callum McNaughton. He's young. He's got a well. I mean, he's just all right, really. Ain't anything special. Played two games, so I mean, that's all right. But yeah, we'll probably move him on at the end of his time here. You know, we'll probably get rid of him sooner or later. Then our starting, our one of our starting centre backs is Sam Berry, who's Irish. He's got great, great potential ability, good current ability as well. Well suited to this style of football. He's he's really good. He is actually five games, hasn't scored, good, decent average rating. Yeah, good player. So, yeah, happy to have him in the squad. Then we've got Scott Reese. Who is on the bench? He's 23 years old, plays centre back or CDM. So, hey ho, he's all right. He's made two appearances. Again, just another backup, really, in case some of our players get injured. Uh, then we've got Reese Tyler starting at right back, where we could play pretty much anywhere from centre mid to right mid to left mid. Only but centre, centre back, centre mid is what I meant to say. So, yeah, but he's, he's re very good. He's very good, good potential, good player. You know, he's probably he's Vanarama Nash left back in the future. It doesn't scream lots, but he is a good player, so I'm happy to have him there. Then our next player is this guy, Danny Danny Sleaf. He could play up both flanks and in centre mid if you really wanted to turn to. But the bad thing about this guy is he's out for a year with um damaged cruciate ligaments, which is the chit really he's a good player he's he's all right player i thought he would be better but he's played two games he's done all right but he's fucked and probably will released at the end of the season um who else have we got mike jones playing at um center back as well looks he's he's um been in the club for two years he's a good center back he's not the best but he's been doing a good good job there so far Average rating of seven. That's pretty decent. Which is good. So I'm happy to have him on my on our hands. Then we've got Jordan Winter playing at central midfield. Um, yeah, he's had a couple of. He looks good. Decently good. I mean, he hasn't really turned up yet. He hasn't got the best average rating. I mean, it's all right. Seven games, nothing special. Just been there. He's done a all right shift at C centre mid. So yeah, that's all right. Then our other centre mid is this guy Perry Ryan, who is a very good player for this level. I really do like him. He he doesn't score goals, but six assists in seven games. What more could you want? Seven point five rating. Perry Ryan's been really good for us this year. Then, uh, back up right mid, right mid is a position we've been struggling with really, is Garim Preen, probably not saying that right, because it's Welsh, but he's alright, I mean, it's not that good, does the job again really, I mean, hasn't played any time this season, might start, but I'm not sure, then our actual right mid that we signed this summer is Nicholas Salapatas, actually looks, he's alright, play across the front, right mid as well, where we're playing him. Yeah, he's alright. He's scored two goals already this year and seven appearances. So yeah, he's been he's been good. We haven't he hasn't been too bad, so we're happy to have him here. Then our substitute on the bench, our centre mid substitute is Luke Williams. He's again another alright player, does the job when you're on him too. He's got a goal this year. So yeah, we're all happy with him. Then we've got Luis Suarez. Yeah, I am saying that right. His name is actually Luis Suarez, but it's not actually spelled it. Um, just crap, really. I know I'm starting at left mid. That's because our actual left mid, um, O'Brien, is injured. And we don't have anyone else to replace him. So, this guy's out of coming. He's meh. He's just all right, really. He's not that good. And this is the guy who we normally start. He's um, Alan O'Brien, who's... Yeah, he's decent. 31, but... He's actually quite good there. He's played four games. He's added, pops him with a goal as well. 
long time at Hungerford as well, so I mean, that's going to go down well with the fans, which is good. Then we've got Nathan Evans, who can, can do a job at left mid, we might have to try him out. Uh, hasn't played any time, we signed him on a free from uh, Wickham, he hasn't played football for two years. He's happy to get back into it, but we'll have to see where his career takes him. Then we've got Liam Envermarum, who's actually a pretty good striker for this level. He's all right. Seven games, three, seven games, three goals, which is good. It's all right. Decent record. I mean, just, you know, he's there. He scores goals, which is most important at yeah, this level, really. And on the bench, we've got Nicholas Bignall. Look at those stats in the physical, man. This guy's a tank up front, really. Same thing is that he's not good. He's a physical player, but technically and mentally, pff, bit shit really. But he has, he comes off the bench. He scored a goal. He's all right, you know. Just is there, really, and he's not too bad. And then this is our main man up here, Warren Bentley. Who look at his record, man. I mean, that's just incredible. In 256 appearances, he scored 198 goals, which is unheard of, and he's made a wonderful start here. In seven games, he scored seven goals. He's just... This guy is... I don't know what how people haven't picked him up before. Because he's been just so good. Part of the Southampton Academy, may I point out as well. So, that's where he gets it from, probably. Um, yeah, very good, actually. And then, on the bench, we have this listed guy, Stefan Brown, who's just there, really. He's got a decent bit of acceleration, but I don't think he's going to be... He got a good first season... Then had a shit season at Maidenhead and just hasn't played played since. So yeah, we'll see how we will see how he does and um, yeah. So we should be going into the match soon.